What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So I've started a series basically covering how to be productive in Compass. And there's no secret really, I, I've been very outspoken about how much I've been enjoying XFCE over the last few months. Um, you know, I think right now with a lot of the other desktop environments going through um, a lot of transitioning, kind of a lot of growing pains. It's really forced users off of big projects that, like GNOME, for instance, um, to kind of seek refuge somewhere else. And for me, that's been XFCE. And, you know, honestly, with how similar XFCE is to GNOME, I can see why it, you know, XFCE didn't get a lot of use when GNOME 2 was kind of in its heyday. Um, but now, I'm just enjoying this desktop so much and there's a lot of little nuances to XFCE that I'm finding out more and more every day. And again, it's not a desktop environment I've used very often. So when I find these little things out, I really want to share them with you guys because again, coupled with Compass, it's, it, it really adds a lot more value, I guess, to the desktop environment and helps me get things done. And it just adds more uh, enjoyment to using it. So the two things I want to show you guys today is the drop down terminal which is very similar to a program called Gwake, I believe is how you pronounce it but you can set it up in XFCE and I did this in the live stream actually um, the one the live stream I just did I uh, showed you guys how to do it and I'm going to show you today in this tutorial and the other thing too is there's also a built-in kind of application launcher almost to XFCE and I'm going to show you um, how to get that accomplished as well so what do I mean by the drop down terminal this is what I mean here um, so by default, this option is not enabled. And in terms of the application finder, so I type G edit and boom, it launches it. Or I can do something like LibreOffice. Now because LibreOffice has a few different applications, I select the one I want and then it launches. And I have this set up to hotkey. So for me, it's super T opens the dropdown terminal and closes it again and uh, super F for find uh, will launch the application launcher. So these are things that are built right into XFCE. Now, how do we get these things enabled? So if we come into settings manager, you wanna go into your keyboard and application shortcuts. Now, this is what we wanna do here. All right, so the drop down terminal, if you guys can see this, you're gonna to wanna to, um, click add again because it's not here by default. And you want to you want to type in xfce4 dash terminal space dash dash drop dash down, and then you're going to want to hit OK. Right after you hit OK, it's going to ask you ask you to select a keyboard shortcut. The way that you do that is simply select a shortcut by pressing those uh, keys that you'd like to use on your keyboard. Now, um, very very similarly, if you want to have the uh, application finder, you're going to uh, create a new shortcut by hitting the add button and then you're going to type in xfce4 dash app finder space dash dash collapsed okay and I'll include these in the video description below and again once you hit add it's going to ask you to select a keyboard shortcut for it and again uh, I have super T for my drop down terminal and super F for the application launcher and you know you keep, for instance, if you press it multiple times, it's going to launch uh, multiple uh, launchers. And that's as simple as that. I mean, I find it real nice to be able to um, just be able to launch the apps. That's one of the things I miss about GNOME, uh, the new version of GNOME, GNOME Shell, um, being able to hit the super key and start typing. Well, it's almost little to no more effort to just, you know, hit super F and, you know, start searching uh, for an application and then launching it. So that's a very, very nice feature, and I love the drop-down terminal. For people who kind of live within the terminal, um, it's really nice to be able to have it kind of in the forefront. Now, with the drop-down terminal, you can actually go into the preferences. Once you enable this, it's going to add a new tab to your terminal preferences, and it's going to call it drop-down. So by default, it only has this set to an 80% width. Uh, so this is basically what it's going to look like when you add that um, shortcut. So all I do, literally, the only thing I change is the width. I have it go full screen. Now, um, you know, you can change the height, obviously, instead of 50%. You can make it smaller. For me, I like it uh, to take up 50% of the screen. That works for me. And everything else, I leave the exact same. 
So those are two nice little shortcuts with the XFCE desktop that uh, help me get work done a little bit easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, we'll see you later.